Hi everybody, I just logged on to portfolio.adobe.com to see how difficult it might be to create this online portfolio template here. So I guess I will click edit your sites. And okay, so you do have some options here. You can either do a full portfolio or just a welcome page. If you are in multiple classes like fashion illustration, pattern drafting, sewing, um, you might want to do a full portfolio because then you could have a different page for each class possibly. You could have a page for your contact information or resume. Um, you could really build it out. But if you're just taking one class and you just want a really super simple page, then I suggest starting just with the welcome page. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to pick the most basic one over here. Okay, um, so I mean, I could leave the title as my name. Um, maybe I even edit it to say portfolio. Why don't I try that? So I'm gonna click, oh, oh, it let me just type in. Yay, Kyla Benson's portfolio, right? Um, this is optional. You could, if you don't want it, you could delete this. I think if you hit uh, edit right here, you could say delete it. But maybe I'll just say, sample work from um, the beginning sewing class at Santa Ana College. Whatever you want. Um, I don't think I need a button, so I'm just going to delete that guy. And then this is nice. Sure, we should definitely add in some social profiles for sure LinkedIn probably Instagram too um, so yeah you can edit that to go ahead and do that and maybe that's just at the footer but then now see you can add other little elements to your page um, I'd like to add it you know above my footer and below my header so I'm gonna hit the plus when it's the lines right there and I want to add a photo grid so I'm gonna go to upload files so photo grid is going to give you photos all in one row. Um, so I have three photos here. Open them. And it just resize them so they all fit in one row. Okay. So if I wanted to do, let's say nine photos, three rows, I'd have to do three photo grids. That makes sense. If I put nine photos in one photo grid, I'm going to have nine photos going straight across. But if I would want, you know, three rows, I just use actually three photo grids. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Um, here, I'll kind of show you. So if I hit another plus, I can do photo grid again. Um, did that work? Oh, here we are. Yes. Um, upload. I'm just going to pick the same three photos. Sorry. I'm not very creative this morning. So there you go. So, I mean, this might be a great way if you wanted to highlight all the notebook samples you did in beginning sewing. You could just kind of list them here and it's really easy for a viewer to scroll through. Or if you just wanted to list your three projects as well. Um, I'm just gonna hit edit on this one. I wanna show you a couple things. You can add captions. So, you know, if you wanted to just name each one, you're welcome to do that. Um, you can click drag and drop them to move them around. Um, if we were to add photos, again, I just want to show you what's going to happen. Of course, I'm just adding the same three again. It's just going to scooch everything so it all just fits in one row. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and maybe hit preview. Here's my real simple website. That's it. This is my portfolio page. Lots of images. Um, you can't really click on anything because it's, well, I guess you can. I lied. Look at that. If you click on a picture, it zooms up. There you go. You can hit the next. So, super simple portfolio page. Publish it, I suppose. And then, yeah, this is what I like about this. They give you a nice clean name. Let me say, view your site. So once you do that, view it, you select this, and you want to copy it. So I'm going to hit Command-C to copy. And what's kind of neat about this is that um, it doesn't have any advertisements anywhere, which is so nice. 
It doesn't say like whatever the logo of the platform company. And I mean, it finishes in myportfolio.com. That's great. So this is free. It really wasn't that hard to do. Um, this is really the kind of portfolio page that you need in today's day and age. Um, so anyways, I hope this video tutorial is helpful for you and I'm excited to see all of your beautiful portfolio pages.